the most distant close encounter of its kind. Early this morning, a NASA explorer reached the solar system's outermost region for a space flyby of a 30-kilometer white rock, the Ultima Thule. Three, two, one, go New Horizons! Go New Horizons! At 6.5 billion kilometers from Earth, the New Horizons probe is setting a world record for the furthest object ever explored in the solar system. The spacecraft will take photos and gather other data as it passes Ultima Thule. Well, earlier I spoke to Francisco Diego from the University College London. I started by asking him about what can we can expect from the first images back from Ultima Thule. Uh, we are only speculated now because we don't have the images. Uh, they will, the first images will come this afternoon, very low resolution images. They will take time to come in the next few days, in the next few weeks actually, and months to have the, the full resolution images. Mm -hmm. But certainly the um, exploration that is taking place now is, is astonishing. This uh, spacecraft has a very uh, powerful camera, the high resolution camera, long range camera. And also it has an antenna to relay the images to us. And both are pointing in different directions. So it has to point the camera to the target and then rotate the spacecraft to relay the images back to Earth when the antenna is, is pointing exactly to the Earth. So this is happening right now. And we are, um, the, the good news is very far away, but the bad news about this is also is six hours away. So any signal sent, command sent from here to the mm -hmm. spacecraft or images related, uh, relate, relayed by the spacecraft to us will take six hours. And okay, then, so we'll uh, have to wait for that. But can you explain to us, why is this significant? The um, uh, Ultima tool is an uh, object, uh, qu quite a small object, the size of a city actually, which is uh, in the outskirts of the solar system. It, ha it has a very stable orbit, it's a circular orbit. It has been there ever since the formation of the solar system. It hasn't been contaminated. The main source of contamination in the solar system is the sun itself, the solar wind. So this uh, object is, is uh, far, far away from, uh, from the sun. And the material of this object and the material that this, this object has been collecting along the years is, um, is pristine. So examining the chemical composition, the morphology, the possibility of rings or the possibility of other objects in orbit around it is extremely important. And we will discover that in the next few, in the next few hours and in the next few days.